Greetings, I'm Pastor Eric Smith, and this is Wakening Grace. Today we're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to reach back. I have to work on a sermon. So we're going to reach back to April 7th for the Awakening Grace on April 7th and see how it relates to us today as compared to how it did then. One of the gifts of our sheltering is that we have time. I have time in a way I have not experienced for many years. Sitting in our living room, I could feel it. I felt a sense of being with a palpable experience of time. Until these past weeks, I have lived in fast time. I'm guessing you have too. Time that acquired speed over many years. I had not grasped how fast it was. Over the years of my life, the pace increased, sometimes noticeably, mostly not, never slowing, always faster. My living room sense of time felt familiar, though, from somewhere distant in my past. I remember it from childhood. We were home a lot. Eating out at a restaurant was a huge exception to our normal. It was unusual to be away from home any evening. We didn't go out. We were at home. Now I am reacquiring connection to that quieter time of my life. And it's not with a sense of loss. I'm finding a sense of gain. We have this time. It's important for us to embrace it and to name it a gift. This gift we have been given. Now I'm going to read to you from a familiar uh, passage. Uh, it's from the book of Ecclesiastes. Here we go. For everything there is a season and a time for every matter under heaven, a time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to pluck up what is planted, a time to kill and a time to heal, a time to break down and a time to build up, a time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn, and a time to dance, a time to throw away stones, and a time to gather stones together, a time to embrace, and a time to refrain from embracing, a time to seek, a time to lose, a time to keep, and a time to throw away, a time to tear, and a time to sow, a time to keep silence, and a time to speak, a time to love, and a time to hate, a time for war, and a time for peace. What gain have the workers from their toil? I have seen the business that God has given to everyone to be busy with, he has made everything suitable for its time. Moreover, he has put a sense of past and future into their minds. Yet they cannot find out what God has done from the beginning to the end. I know that there is nothing better for them than to be happy and enjoy themselves as long as they live. Moreover, it is God's gift. Will you pray with me? O oh God, we give you thanks for this gift of this time. Help us experience its richness fully. This is our prayer. 
Amen.